All right, I'll have a look. Hi guys, and welcome back to another video where I talk about pretty much whatever you guys send to spam in the comments, apparently. And you're just gonna have to deal with the hair. Um, I'm in the middle of a lockdown here that is so harsh that there's no hairdressers out there. Now, in this week's episode of What Will Human Garbage Do to Animals for Money? I'm gonna talk about a channel called Wrist Speed. It's a relatively new channel. It was created on November 24th in 2019. And it has gained about 130,000 subscribers since. And we're in uh, February 2021. It's a little over a year. And has 36 million views by making what they claim to be new cool videos. Which, since I'm making this video, probably involves some fucked up shit. Kind of appears they started out with some nice, pretty tame videos where he makes a guillotine and what well, cuts over a Fanta. That's pretty tame, you know. He just built a device designed to cut somebody's head off. Okay, maybe it's not that tame after all. Now implying you're building a death machine doesn't get a lot of views apparently because they didn't really continue down that path. Now, for whatever reason, they decided that they were going to create an animal fighting ring where they had little small animals fight to the death. And that worked pretty much overnight. In 10 days, they went from having just reached the minimum requirement of a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours, which is roughly 40,000 views, to having a million views. YouTube actively pushed this shit out. The algorithm sucks! So, the first big one that hits a million views is this one. Apparently we're putting memes into our animal abuse videos now. Is it just me or does that gives it just an extra level of creeped out feeling? But a skull panther and a mantis in a fighting ring until one of them dies. That's what YouTube decided should be pushed out to millions of people and a million clicked on it and thought, hmm, entertainment. This is literally what YouTube's algorithm decided people want to see. Just for added weirdness, they put a disclaimer on their videos. This is an unedited clip off of it. It is there for less than half a second, like it's a chore, they have to put it on, but they honestly don't want to. Then we have a fight between these two. SpongeBob just makes this so many levels of fucked up. It's just insane. Like it's nothing but entertainment to the guy who creates these videos. And to ram it home that people don't really understand how fucked up this is, if you go to the comments, they're mainly having an issue with the fact that he said big spider versus tarantula, but it's two tarantulas. That's the issue! Apparently, the fact that you're putting animals in a cage to fight is not the issue. I mean, what level of not giving a shit about watching two animals being forced to fight to the death for your entertainment did not register? It's animal abuse, again, for the sole purpose of entertaining humans. People got a person that they do this shit with dogs, but if it's an invertebrate, apparently it's perfectly fine. And it gets rewarded with money. Lots of it. The insanity in that difference is enough to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. In another video, he throws a milk snake. And here's a disclaimer. I'm not an expert on milk snakes. I don't know which kind it is specifically, but it doesn't really matter. And he throws it in here in this setup. And first he does it with it. He throws in a scorpion with it. Doesn't really get the response he wants. So he just throws in a tarantula. Doesn't get the response. So he throws in another in an attempt to get what he wants with the fight. This time he failed, luckily, but, but it's, it's like he deprived some sick joy out of it. In another video, he throws in a mouse and a bat. Bats are with spiders and tarantulas, some of the most misunderstood creatures on this entire planet. People genuinely hate and fear them, when in reality they are so important to maintain a healthy ecosystem and it's just a really important animal, and we're treating it like this. He just 
stresses them out and scares them for no reason than entertainment, so he can make money off the videos he records. But it's really sad, one of my favorite pastimes in the summer is to sit outside on a terrace and just in the evening watch the bats hunt insects. It's quite soothing really to watch them fly around. In another video, he decides to pit a mantis which is a lizard. That's just fucked up. Nature is cruel, yes, but there's nothing natural about this. This is a fixed setup created by a human just for entertainment. The worst one though, the absolute worst one. He took a snail and had it crawl over sharp objects. I am so certain he wanted the snail to cut itself. It's just so effing psychotic. How fucked up do you need to be in the head to do shit like that? At what mental state do you need to be to decide that that should make a video? You're literally trying to see an animal get cut just so you can create YouTube videos and make money. And again, YouTube encourages this shit. The algorithm is promoting it. He got 36 million views in a year. His entire channel has become dedicated to nothing else than this kind of video. Pitting animals up against each other to fight. That's all his channel is about now. And 36 million times someone clicked on it. I guarantee you 100% that is so many views that some people were outraged. Some people got mad. Enough of those managed to report this. And that means YouTube has gotten a bunch of reports and done nothing. Because he's uploading to this day. His latest upload when I researched this video was one week old. Which means he's actively uploading. YouTube do not give a shit. If it's not cuddly and fluffy, and even there, they don't give a shit until someone tells them to give a shit. That's the problem here. We're letting people make money off of obvious animal abuse. It's just insanity. And honestly, I don't see an end to it because he's not alone. I could probably spend a year making nothing but videos on a weekly basis on this kind of channel which is an animal fighting ring. It's not even my first. I've done it before. I can spend an entire year making nothing but these. And I'd still have more to make videos on. Yeah, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If, if you want to leave a like or dislike, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead. Do you think uh, YouTube's gonna make any difference? I don't think so, but you know, leave a comment. And honestly, do you think pitting invertebrates should be against each other like this should be just as illegal as you know making dogs fight or are some animals just worth less if you want to see more you can always just uh, subscribe a little and i will see you next time bye